Hi, this is Lucas from Scribal Workshop again. Um, this is our second video on the simplified book hand calligraphy. I went over the basic strokes, the angle and line spacing in the last video. If you haven't seen that, click the link below to watch that video. Uh, the tools you'll need today are a two millimeter Elegant Writer calligraphy marker by Speedball and the book hand minuscule handout, which you can also find in another link below. Uh, this printable handout contains the full alphabet as well as some extra practice space at the end. So I'm gonna go through each letter stroke by stroke and show you what those look like. To practice your letters, I recommend downloading the template and practice sheet from the link in the description. You'll have an example of the letter, the light gray area for tracing, and then extra space to practice your letters. Also at the very back of that is a set of lined paper that allows you to practice. I'm going to start on this lined paper and go through each stroke step by step for each letter. The A is a curved vertical stroke followed by a lower curve. The B is the modified curve stroke with a straight top followed by a top curve. The C is a lower curve and half of a top curve. The D is a lower curve, half of a top curve and then the modified curved vertical. E is a lower curve and then a top curve that's smaller. F is kind of a variation of that curved vertical again. A top curve and a horizontal. The G again composed like the C and then you add a slight diagonal vertical and another half bottom curve. H, modified vertical, and then another curved vertical. I is just a modified vertical with a little dash, or you could put a diamond instead. <clears throat> the J, same idea but a little longer with a backward curve. The K, the modified vertical, top curve, and a diagonal. L is just the modified curve. M is just three curved verticals. And that's your first page of practice. I recommend practicing all of these letters as you go multiple times to get the hang of it. But don't practice more than about 15 minutes at a time because you'll start to get tired and pick up bad habits. The next set of letters, N is a curved vertical, O is a bottom curve and a top curve, P Q R is that modified curve again with a half top curve. S is a bit weird. It's more of a curving diagonal and then two half curves. The T a curved vertical and a horizontal. U, two curved verticals. V, diagonal and a top curve. W is two curved verticals and then just another modified vertical. X, two diagonals, with a little bit on the end. Y. 
there's a modification of the Y that mostly uses the curved verticals in the same base as the G. And then a Z, which is a curving horizontal, a diagonal, and another curving horizontal. So again, this is where I talk to you about Patreon. Um, Patreon is a way that you can support us every month and help us to produce these videos and this content, as well as some of the experiments and some of the illuminated artwork that I work on as well. You can also support us again through our website by purchasing things from us. Thank you.